I went to a liberal arts college. So it was also super chillax because it wasn't focused in anything. But I will say that has hurt me in trying to find a job when I got out. Yeah, well, when you have a creative writing degree and you live in Pennsylvania, good fucking luck. (laughs) And I had a studio art degree. It wasn't graphic design or anything. So everyone's Mm. like, what the fuck are you going to do for us? And I'm like, I can draw. (laughs) I can draw you nice things. Yeah, you can draw Animu. Do you want Animu? Do you want Animu with big old titties? Yeah, I can make that happen for you. Oh my God. Like, I really wanted to character design, but like... Yeah. You need a portfolio for that. And I definitely did not have one because I didn't know how to make one. And because what yeah. they taught me was how to do a gallery because I'm going to fucking do galleries for the rest of my <laughs> life. Not that um, that isn't something you should do. It's just something that wasn't for me. I'm yeah. not about that life. Well, I was very, very set on being an author for um, teens. And then I actually started going to conventions and meeting a bunch of authors that were in the young adult, like, who were YA authors. And I was like, you know what? This does not sound like something I want to do. Oh, yeah. The industry is, it's, I don't know. I think my problem, my biggest problem is that you have to give up so much creative control. Um, yes. Unless you self-publish, and if you self-publish, then your work isn't going to be as noticed. You're going to get paid less. Like it's unless you get you stupid know, ass lucky. It's a big sacrifice, and so if you do traditional publishing, like they could change the co- like they could pick a really crappy cover for you, and you can't really say anything about it. They could change the title if they wanted to. They could tell uh, you that you need to take out parts of you know like parts I just, that matter to you. Yeah, and parts that you think are important. And it's not, it's not easy, and people think that you make a ton of money, but you only really hear about the big authors, like J.K. Rowling. Most authors make nothing. Like, they do it yeah. because they love it, and that's it. Like, they, they don't really make much. Because um, my, like, my grandparents were like, especially my grandmother was like, oh, just write a book, and then you'll have, you know, you'll be famous and rich, and then it'll be fine. And I was like, that is not accurate at no. all. No. Like, not at it, all. Like, Shy you know. Guy has has been writing since Stop. middle school and stuff mm-hmm. but uh yeah, same he even took co- uh, creative writing courses and stuff but he kind of realized like there's no point in him going to college for this because he would have to give up so much of what he wants to do yeah and i think he yeah it, that's exactly thing. it you have you have to give up so much creative control I mean, even if you get lucky and would get, like, some kind of movie or TV show, you have no say, really, unless unless yeah. you're super, super lucky and basically, J.K. Rowling, you don't have a say in right. a lot of the stuff. And, like, for me, I think that would just kill it because yeah. you spend a year writing this book that you love and Only then it, it get ripped apart. Pretty much. Or, you know, they'll be like, oh, well, that's not marketable, so write us something else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because that happens gonna sell. too. Like, pe- yeah, exactly. It's all about what's going to sell. And if you write something and it's not marketable right now, it's not in style right now, they might look at you and be like, well, sucks for you. You're not going to get published or... Exactly. And it just... It just took the fun out of it. College took the fun out of it. But then that, like, actually seeing these people and how they had to, you know, li- make a living um, kind of killed it for me. Yeah, so I will say I do get intimidated by a lot of freelance artists that are like talking about what? the problems. Yeah, that they encounter or like people that basically are like, "Well, you should do it for free, or you should do it for exposure." Fucking exposure! Oh, fuck those people. <laughs> no. But like, so I, many artists not- talk about that, or like not getting paid, like to do a commission yeah. and then not get paid, or have someone do a chargeback is like terrifying. Like that's part of your livelihood, and someone can just rip it out from you. Yep. Which is scary. So, like, I I have been nervous about it, but I'm like, I think this is something that I do want to push. Like, I have that drive. And also, at least I'm at least creating a portfolio that could hopefully be good enough for, like, a video game company or some sort of place that wants my concept art. Because I don't really want to do, like, I like graphic design. I'll do it if I have to, but it's not what I want to do. Yeah. It's not my passion. Yeah, it just, it really killed it for me, and it was really hard to even motivate myself to to do it. 
anymore after all that. So, I mean, I I think maybe one day I'll, you know, go back to it and give it a shot, but it's just not it's just not for me right now. Right. So now I have this degree and I'm like, well, now what, what? do I do now? Yeah. Yep, and that was what Shy Guy was, like, realizing during his yep. schooling. He was like, um, what do I want to do with this? So then he thought he was going to be an English teacher, but then he's like, I don't know if I really want to do that either. I'm like, mm-hmm. it's okay to not want to do that stuff. Right now you have a job that's okay. You get paid yeah. a decent amount. You figure it out. Just don't waste the money and go to school if you don't know. Yeah. And like- then now he's at a job that has nothing to do with schooling, but it's, like, his dream job. <laughs> So that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, you don't necessarily need college. Like, you don't. And you're just going to change your mind so many times. And it's okay to do that. I feel like people freak out about it, but it's really okay to do it. Yeah. Like, I almost left um, college to go to a beautician school, like Empire. Yeah. So I was like, I don't really, I'm not having fun at college. I don't like it. Like, I don't know what to do, but I already had a year and a half in. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to finish this because if I don't, then I'm going to always be like saying what if. Right. So I finished it. So I got my degree. I did really well despite hating it. Right. (laughs) And yeah, I was really happy. I ended up graduating summa cum laude. So I was really happy with that. Yeah. Um, That was a goal that I had. So I did that. And then... Hi, I got a Twitch. Hello. Yeah, I'm still kind of figuring it out, so I want to try stuff until something sticks, basically. Right. Thank you for the bits, by the way, Dakota Lay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for a while, I thought that was going to be YouTube, and now I'm like, nah, that's probably not going to be. Hey, YouTube. That's not going to be the thing. Yeah. (laughs) Not with the way YouTube is going, so. Yeah. I'm looking into other options. Aw, I'm sorry. Hey, it might work out. That's so, true. I'm not really, I'm not really sad about it. Like I've kind of accepted that YouTube is the way that it is. Yeah. And it's not going to be a viable source of income. Like it's just not. Yeah. Um. Are you like, at I'm least still happy? It. The, yeah. It's like, are you at least happy to do it as a hobby? Yeah. Yeah. Income? Yeah. I'm not. I'm just not focusing on it as like a career. You know what I mean? Like pushing it. Right. Yeah. That's why I've kind of just like. I've, it's not even that I'm focusing on Twitch, which I am, but like, it's really that I'm just dabbling in a whole bunch of different income sources right. to make it that much more of a stable thing. Because so many, yeah. and I feel bad, but like so many people that were full time YouTube, this was literally all they had. And some people can't even do Twitch. Like, some people, their YouTube channels weren't something that can be live streamed. Mm-hmm. Um, like, they just purely created like, full-on edited entertainment not even gaming like just some sketches and yeah like, there's all sorts of different like there's people content. that are legit screwed now where me i'm luckily able to do art i'm luckily able to do twitch and streaming and patreon and game wisp i already had in place like i got really lucky in that instance so i have a lot of uh, my feet are dabbled in multiple places and i got lucky that way but a lot of people didn't so yeah. I can understand. Well, yeah, because I don't have I don't have art at all. Like, f- at least you have background. creative writing, but that doesn't pay right away. That's like yeah. you gotta I really. I was, I was kind of thinking of maybe writing radio plays and then oh. like recording those as something like for YouTube just for fun, like right, just for something to do, kind of thing. You could do that because I've had an idea for one, um, that you could possibly help me with. Ooh. But yeah, I'm um, intrigued. <laughs> I like new things. Oh, guys, I'm not giving up on YouTube. I'm not saying I'm giving up on YouTube as a as a career. I'm not yeah. stopping it. Like, yeah, not quitting. Like, before people freak out. No, no, no. I'm not quitting. It's yeah. just at one point I thought, hey, this could, you know, this could be my job. And now it's like, no, that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, that was kind of me. Like, I told my dad yeah. about how YouTube works last year and stuff, and I was super excited and like, I'm not going to let him stop me. I'm going to fucking do this. And then yeah, YouTube's well, like, eh. I'm like, okay, well, let's do YouTube, multiple things. Well, YouTube is kind of fighting its creators right now, so it, it really is. It really does not care about the 95% of the people on YouTube. Nope. And I think that's why I'm, like, more interested in call. Like, I recently read something... And I think you read the same thing, but, like, um, by the guy who does... He does horror. 
Mm-hmm. Um, like, not sketch skits, but, like, facts. Yeah. Fact videos. And he had talked about how YouTube is... It's not even that you're you make the right content. It's you're not the right content creator. Oh yeah, I, I read that and retweeted it. Yeah, and um, possibly from Craven. Probably, like a lot of people were retweeting that. What the and crap is the. There we it's kind of like, and someone else said recently that it's um. I don't necessarily have the pride I used to of calling myself a YouTuber. Yeah, same. Because YouTube isn't necessarily something I want to be connected to. Although I love my channel separate from YouTube. Like, I love the content I have created. But, like, I'm not necessarily proud of my position with YouTube. Yeah, I agree. And or being associated with the company who's treating everyone and I th- like shit. And I think it's hard, too, because it's so demotivating. Because it's like, I have these video ideas. And it's like, well... I, I think about how much time it's going to take to execute them, and then I'm like, well, what's the point? Right. You know what I mean? Like, and it just makes me sad because... Because it was something you're so driven for. Right, and even now I have to watch, because if I start a Let's Play and it starts getting flagged, then I might have to abandon it, and that sucks. Yeah. I don't want to have to do that. Yeah, that's but why I've pretty same... much given... Like, I'm like, this will start making me not be excited to make content, so I'm just going to make it, and if it does or doesn't do well I don't care anymore I'm just doing what I want well didn't you say that last month you only made like $30 yeah actually I re-looked it it was like 40 but still that's not much of a difference (laughs) well $40 for a month is not livable yeah no it's not in any sense of the word it's it's really not not. so really at this point I'm just like fuck it like I'll just make the cut this is kind of how I treated my YouTube for the first three years was make whatever I want and if people watch it cool if they don't they don't because, like, I think I, Tower Unite isn't doing well, and neither uh, and yeah, Dream Daddy's doing me. okay. Not for me, either. But, yeah, Tower Unite doesn't do well, but fuck it if I enjoy playing it. Yeah, same. I mean, it's... I think if I had something else going, I wouldn't be as stressed about it, but I don't right yeah. now. So it's kind of hard for me to just be like, oh, I'll just do whatever I want. I s- feel still like i can't because this is right now my only source of income right which for me it's but but like twitch for me is doing way better like i finally got my first check from twitch and i was like this is more money than i've seen in youtube from youtube in a year maybe not a year maybe in six months of youtube but either way it's like i haven't yet (laughs) this is one month like holy shit well, and that's not including the like, generous donators and the. Say, yeah. It is including bits, but it's not. It's, so it's including subs and bits, but it's not including donations or Patreon or Game Whisper or anything like that. So I was like, this could actually possibly become something for me in the future. But right. it's all just, you know, figuring it out. But it wouldn't be. It would be good enough to help me on the side on top of art. It wouldn't probably be something I could do full time, at least with what what it was. But it's like at least a week's worth of pay, which would be amazingly helpful, especially since I went down part time to see if I could do this. Right. So really putting that uh, degree to work. But you know. (laughs) So am I. Yeah. But hey, if if I write a radio play, we could do it. Honestly, I want to do it because I want to voice it, like, even yeah. more than I want to write it, to be honest. I and I love voice voicing. It. I just, I fuck up a lot. I love it. Just so you know. What? When I, I read stuff, said. I fuck up a lot. That's okay. Even just normal talking. It's not, <laughs> it's not like we're going to present it to a Yeah, TV I was just station. letting you know, like, like, it was just a Hank Pran. Like, I can't yeah, talk it's, normally. Hey, like, it's, it's totally fine. So I just I really enjoy doing it and I think it would be fun and a change of pace. Yeah. I enjoy doing voice work in general. I was like, I don't know if I could ever be a voice actor just because of all the shit I hear them do and then they have to do commercials and stuff and I'm like, I don't know. Like I'm not yeah. passionate about it. I just want to do some voices in video games. Can I just do that? <laughs> not if you wanna make a living. I know, which in that case it's more <laughs> just for fun, but then I wouldn't ever be found because it's recreational. So yeah. it's more just does anyone want a YouTuber or a streamer to voice a person in their game? I did um <laughs> I did a like voice that. for a mod recently for SWAT. Hey. SWAT four, which is pretty cool. Ooh, that's exciting. Yes. Is that a game? Yeah, SWAT four is a game and they um 
this team made a mod for it, Ooh. and then uh, they got people to voice like different parts in the mod. That's so awesome. That was pretty cool. I, was I the did dispatch. like, huh? I was the dispatch. That's awesome. Like, like a miscellaneous dispatch person. Yeah. Also, after this, I probably have to go pick up River because River's stuck at the mall until I pick them up. Oh, okay. So That's and fine. they said they're done because they went to the card store and did some duels. But uh, yeah, like I I want to do like some voice work for something. It'd be cool. And I've in college I did something for a dude who he like wrote like an alternate universe. Like, have you ever played Majora's Mask? Probably uh, yes. a stupid question. Uh, that is one of my Vendetta games that I never beat as a kid. So I like have a vendetta and oh, I feel like, like I need to beat it. Oh, it's like the first one I ever beat. <laughs> no, it scared me. Oh, I, I can understand that. But I watched my friend play every part and after uh, after oh. they were done playing, then I would go home and play it. So I already knew I could only play it with my cousin. So like when he was down, we would play together. And then when he wasn't there, I didn't because it scared me. <laughs> I did get the check, to be fair. I did. But I could totally understand why that would be a scary game. It's really dark. Yeah, um, it was. But for... There was a dude in college who had... For his senior thesis, I think, or whatever we call it. I, yeah. forgot, I forgot what they called it. Because I did, that was me doing the gallery. But for mm. his senior thing, um, I don't know if it was creative writing or what, but he wrote a play... Um, a, like a short little play that, or voice, so basically like a radio thing, and yeah. it was an alternate universe of like what happened between Anju and Cafe that we never oh, saw. Oh, cool, dude, that's a cool idea. Yeah, and I got to be. Um, he had us try out for voices, and then he assigned us roles. I, I, it was the first time I ever did anything like that, so I, I didn't get a big role or anything, but I think I got Kremia, who was like oh. Anju's best friend. Yeah. Oops, whoa, I went backwards. My bad. So I got to do that, and I have it on, like, DVD and can watch it or whatever. Oh, that's cool. But, yeah, so it was just us sitting there and doing the different acts, and it was, like, two hours long, um, which I wasn't talking the whole time. But, like, that was super fun, and I enjoyed doing that. So I just enjoyed doing that kind of... Like, in Night in the Woods really showed me how much I enjoy giving life to characters. Like, I legit, at the end of Night in the Woods, trying to voice act one of them crying, I actually started crying because I was feeling what the character was feeling. <laughs> I was like, I didn't mean for this to happen, but it works. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's just, like, it's weird because Story of Seasons, I think Fantasy Life was the first Let's Play that really caught on, but then I started doing Story of Seasons, so I abandoned Fantasy Life. <laughs> and uh, Story of Seasons, like, really caught on, and it just became a thing. Like, it just became a thing. Like, voicing the characters was right. just... I just did it for fun and tried it, and then people really liked it. And, Something uh, that works just, for you. Yeah, so I just I just kept doing it. And now I have tons of uh, series that work like that. And I really hey. like them. Yeah, Even you though sometimes good I it. get hate for it, it's okay. I do. Yeah, you do Not fantastic Not a lot, but every now and then. Oh, thank you. It's true. I try. I try. Like, even when we play a stupid indie game, your voice for what's-his-name was fantastic. <laughs> like, you were able to recreate it even though it destroyed your voice a little. <laughs> but it was great. Like, the fact you can make a voice like that was, like, I have very limited <laughs> range. Oh, thank you. Yes. If you guys want to know what we're talking about, it's the video, uh... Stay close. It? Stay close, yeah. <laughs> Did the demon Kita does voice. a demon voice. He did. Or he Satan destroyed voice. me. It was great, though. I, yeah. It was like a possessed voice. It was fantastic. <laughs> I love your voice. Thank you. I, I think everybody really Thank liked my one from Tree of Towns because it sounded like Ash from Pokemon. <laughs> yes. Smoker <laughs> Ash. Which was totally intentional. <laughs> yes. Uh, what ifs always stick around for a long time? Oh, that's what someone said previously to what you said. Nin said that. What? Because you had said you would always think what if, and those stick around yeah. for a long time, so you gotta 
Yep. You should do it That's- if you think what if. That's why I'm doing this, because I'm like, fuck it, I have no commitments. I need to do this now before I, like, have a kid and I have to actually it's, worry about financial like, stability. It's, it's terrifying to take the risk, but it's it more terrifying to think about yourself being 70 years old going, what if I had done this? And How would my life of, be different? Oh, my God. And, oh, real quick, Smoot said $40 is good pocket money. It's true. And that's why I appreciate it. Yeah. But it's not livable. Um, yeah, it's not livable, but it's nice for just some some change. It, it, also, for me, on. it supp- One, or it it helps with the games. True, yes. Because I wouldn't be getting these games if it weren't for my channel, so it helps at least make it not extra cost on top of it. Right. Okay, one quick second. I saw people talking about Machinima. I have heard terrible things about Machinima oh, as a network. Yes. I'm just no. putting it out there. I would Curse not join them. Curse is amazing. Them. Curse is great. I love Curse so much. Curse is and fantastic. They do a 90-10 split. And they pay you on time yes. every month. They've always answered my questions when I've emailed them. Like, I have no they problem have with them. huge uncopyrighted music selection. Yes. It's great. I, lo- I love Curse. Um, a Machinima person uh, actually just commented the other day, and I was like, huh, no. No, you I've don't. I've heard horror stories about Machinima, so I just, I just wanted to put that out there. Same with Maker. I've heard Maker recently has kind of become, if you're not elite, yeah. you're not good. But, like, a yeah. lot of companies will take advantage of the fact that you don't know that a 70, or even 60-40, I was 60-40, locked into a really? uh, thing initially for the first two years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people. And, and Chris and doesn't I didn't have a know that. Yeah, so Chris, you, you can, can leave whenever, whenever you want. Whenever. Yeah. Most, most are not. Most are two-year contracts. It's I was locked time. into a one-year contract and then didn't say in time, because I didn't know. They didn't send me an alert saying, oh, two months in advance uh is when you have to say that you're leaving no and i didn't know that so i didn't what? say that so i was like okay i want to leave and they're like no you didn't say it so now you're locked in for another year so i had to wait yep and um finally i got in with curse and it's amazing like broadband 90 10 TV. is probably the best you're gonna find that's the best i've ever seen and mm-hmm. broadband tv has emailed me so many times and are like, you're not responding to our emails. And I'm like, you're damn right. (laughs) But well, I did respond to one and then he argued with me because I was like, I'm, you know, thank you for the interest. I'm really happy with the network that I'm signed with already, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, do they do this for you? Do they do? And I'm like, you're not going to do that. And I'm like, and you want like 70, 30. I'm like, no. Yeah, no. Not happening. And like, they're just trying really hard because yeah, they're probably honestly really suffering too, especially recently. Because yeah. I mean, think of all the networks that aren't getting money now. Uh, Pose, did you? Pose is like just hanging out or DC'd. Oh yeah. And everyone make sure, oh no, that you take care of yourself first. Don't worry about us. We're not like, yes. we're not saying this stuff. No, we're not, we're not saying, saying this stuff so that you donate. Us. Like that's yeah, not, no. that's not, we're just, we're just talking. Like we're just. I always, and it's letting you guys know, cause I want to be transparent. I don't want you yeah. guys to think like everything's peachy and fine. And it's Especially not. Especially for people who are thinking of but doing YouTube or yes. who, who are dreaming about having a career in it. Cause like, I never knew that a 60, 40 wow. split was terrible. I never yeah. knew that that was like the worst you could get until John told me. And John Wolf's like, um, you need to get with Curse. <laughs> I like, didn't even put, I didn't even start putting ads on my videos. And Craven said that too. About a year in because I was so afraid people wouldn't watch that, anymore yeah, if I put I, ads. So I, I didn't, didn't put ads for a long time either. Yeah. I, yeah. Like you just don't know a lot of stuff going in. And so right. I think it is important to show transparency. And that's why I talk about how much I make a lot of the time because a lot of people think, oh, well, this person makes bank because they have like 2,000 views a video. No, they are barely getting by. And if that, they're probably not. A 1,000 views typically equals a dollar yeah. if that puts it in perspective. And that's not counting this, you know, what uh, your network is going to take or um, right. YouTube. So just look at it that way. <laughs> Yeah. And a lot of people don't know and that. And taxes, it doesn't it also doesn't count taxes. So Yeah. You gotta think about that too. Maharan, thank you for the host. I really appreciate it. I am just gonna have all of the fucking moving hole is the bane <laughs> of my existence. Finally. Why why can't the hole just stay consistent? Seriously. 
But uh, that's why I think transparency is important, especially like an artist I follow recently was like, let's talk about what we make because that's really important, it's important for people to see because that's, I mean, that's why a lot of jobs like don't want you to talk about the money you make because so yeah, many Yeah, they don't want you to talk about your salary. Oh, like I, it's illegal, but, but my, my job said that if we talk about it, we get fired. Like she straight up told me. And, yeah, she, and wasn't she was telling me because other people were talking about salary, but I was like, you know, that's illegal, from. right? But I didn't say that. But I was just like, yeah, it's illegal. And that's to, fire to prevent people from that. talking about it and exactly. from being like, oh, I should be paid more. Yeah. I mean, I found out working in a retail place for seven years that someone who had just and I was in a lead position, someone who just joined and was in a normal basic cashier position was earning more than I was. And that was great. And I was, I worked hard. Like my job loved me. They did not want me to go, but they didn't pay me more because it's retail. They're not, they're going to pay you the bare minimum. Yeah. And I told them, I flat out told them, we talked about salary and I'm making less. What can we do about this? And he's like, unfortunately not much because they got entered in at a higher salary. Whereas it's harder for me to fair. convince them to get you a raise rather than to get someone an entry level yep. price. Yep. And I'm like, that's some shit. Yep. So, I am still streaming I'm crazy. But yeah. Uh, it's... It's special. For uh, trying I'll to see you later, get Nightshade. equal price. Thank you, DJM. I appreciate that. Uh, I hope YouTube gets its act together. I feel like doing it as a hobby. You might, you can still do it as a hobby. I did it with no pay for the first two years I ever did. If YouTube. you, if you literally just want to do it for a hobby, or you just want to learn, like do learn it. how to edit, learn, th like you will learn a ton if you start doing YouTube because you just, as you do it more, you just you learn. That's just yep. how it goes. Um, so if you want to use it as a learning experience, if you want to do it for fun as a hobby then do it like we're not trying to discourage you from that however if you are looking to do it to possibly make it into a career right. i would say do not yes or, or if, have I mean, backup if you're, plans if you're doing it for money and fame just like don't even just alt f4 right now like alt it's not gonna happen i'm sorry yeah but. and fame itself is even like i've been doing this for four and a half years and so many people are like oh you should have so many other viewers and subscribe or so many more subscribers i'm like that's all luck. Like a lot luck, of it is and fucking And there's so luck. much competition, especially in gaming, that it's yeah. really hard to get noticed. Poe, thank you for the subscription. Enjoy your panties. Hey. <laughs> Enjoy your panties. Throw some panties in the chat. Uh, hi, Captain Kirk. Uh, Freaking Smoot. Always beating us at golf. It's true. 